Let's run around the land and let's search for a custom entity spawning in our world. Alright, we found ourselves back in the once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding our custom entity to the world gen as well. Now this is an incredibly straightforward thing because we literally only need to add one single JSON file, not here, but in our data folder tutorial mod forge biome modifiers. So for this we're going to make a new file and that's going to be the tiger underscore spawns dot json and this will look kind of like this this will have a type and the type is going to be forge colon add underscore spawns then we're going to have the biomes specified over here now the biomes is going to be a list in this case now we're just going to list one thing and that's going to be the minecraft savanna now you can of course add multiple ones over here that is totally fine and then we have the spawners that we're gonna say over here that's gonna be the spawners this is gonna be a json object and this will also have a type this specifies what actual entity it will spawn so this is tutorial mod colon tiger then we'll have a weight and the weight determines how often they spawn in my case let's do 50 that's fine then a min count of one and a max count of two now, the weight here, what's very important, is that this weight, right, so if we have, you know, one more entity that could spawn in the savannah, and th that weight would be, let's say, 100, right? If our weight is 50, then we have a 33% chance of a tiger spawning and a 66% chance of the other thing spawning, basically. Because you sum up all the weights and then you just divide by it, and that's how you get the percentage of how likely it is for your particular thing to spawn. Do be aware, right, if the same example exists and I put this up to 1,000 and the other one is 100, all of a sudden, right, our tiger is so much more likely to spawn than the other thing. So you're not only increasing the likelihood of your thing spawning, of your entity spawning, but you're also decreasing the likelihood of everything else spawning so do keep that in mind so do not overweight your spawning basically but yeah that is pretty much all that we need so let's go into the game and see if it works all right we found us back in minecraft and we're here in a savannah so let's just fly around and see if we can't find any tiger roaming around the savannah and there we are we already found some so there's one and there are two more and you know as you continue along there's even a few in water over here and that is actually one thing that you might want to mitigate so let's go back into IntelliJ and actually add a spawn restriction because that could be a very good idea now the spawn restriction is added in the events once again in our mod events class and we'll just basically just duplicate this and we'll call this the entity spawn restriction and instead of the entity attribute creation event we'll take a spawn placement register event called event and what we'll do is we'll say event.register passing in mod entities.tiger.get spawn placements saying on ground so now they will no longer spawn inside of the water but only on ground then we'll have a type and that is going to be not motion blocking but motion blocking no leaves then we'll have animal colon colon uh, check animal spawn rules and the last thing is going to be the replace operation so the general idea here is the reason why we're doing this is so that the spawn place the, the actual placement of this particular entity is always on ground it can't spawn on motion blocking blocks and it can no longer spawn on leaves and we're also checking the animal spawn rules which basically are things like hey is the brightness high enough these are these specifically blocks that the, a, an animal can spawn on and so on and so forth. So that is the general idea of the spawn restriction. Highly recommended to add it. And you can also go into the spawn placement right here. I'm pretty sure, yes, the spawn placement. And you can see all of the vanilla placements right here. So highly recommended to check this out as well. And that is going to basically open up what all of this means as well. But that's going to be for this tutorial right here. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.